Hi everybody, it's Adam with heartvalvesurgery.com and we're in Los Angeles, California at the Society of Thoracic Surgeons Conference and I am thrilled to be joined by Dr. Chris Burke who is a leading aortic valve surgeon at UW Medicine in Seattle, Washington. Dr. Burke, we have known each other for a while. It is great to see you here at SDS and thanks for being with me today. It's great to see you, thank you. Yeah, so you and I were just having a conversation all about the Ross procedure. And as a surgeon that specializes in the Ross, you have considerations and choices. One component of the Ross is whether or not to reinforce the autograph. And I'm real curious to know your thoughts on that topic and if you could share them with the patients in our community. Absolutely, Adam. So this is a very hot topic these days, as, as you're well aware. And one of the things that we've known now for a while is that over time, the autograph can dilate. And this can lead to aneurysms of the aortic root and aortic regurgitation. And this can be a cause of late failure and reoperation. So surgeons have thought how to minimize this risk. And one of the ways that we do it, as you point out, is wrapping the autograph with the Dacron graft. There's a variety of techniques that, that one, can, one can use. Um, this has the obvious advantage of protecting the autograft and preventing that dilation. Um, but like anything, does come with some potential drawbacks. It does increase the technical complexity a little bit of an already complex operation, so you have to consider that. The coronary arteries can be a little bit of a challenge sometimes to, to place inside of a graft. And then one thing that we don't know is how do those delicate autograft leaflets tolerate that stiff, rigid structure over time, and we just don't know. So we have really come up with a tailored patient-specific approach that's based on patient factors, anatomy, and we will really individualize how we treat and, and potentially wrap or protect the autograft because we know that a one-size-fits-all approach is probably not ideal, and a lot of patients do perfectly well with just a freestanding um, autograph implant. So we take our highest risk patients, those that come in with aortic regurgitation or have root aneurysms, and we'll protect those and do a Dacron wrap on those patients. Great. Well, I can tell you, Dr. Berger, I had a Ross procedure mm -hmm. that had a wrap, a Dacron wrap to it. Mm -hmm. I'm now nearly 20 years out from my Ross with no reoperation or no reintervention. Mm -hmm. So Great. I can't thank you and your team for doing all the research, all the studying, and mastering those techniques to help these patients with that very complex Ross procedure. So on behalf of them and all the patients at heartvalvesurgery.com, thank you and your team at UW Medicine in Seattle, Washington. Thank you, Adam. Hi everybody, it's Adam. I hope you enjoyed that video. And don't forget, you can always subscribe to our YouTube channel, watch the next two educational videos coming up on your screen, or click the blue button to visit heartvalvesurgery.com.